Edith there with us, and she is an Arizona artist and a member of the Western Artists of America. We're going to be talking about her art, uh, Master Artist. You're going to be featured at the Fippen Museum Western Art Show, and that is this upcoming weekend. It is. This is their big one. This is the big one. This is the annual show, Tanya, Lou. This is just the most fantastic show. You have the most incredible artisans from around the country. Juried. This is juried. It is highly juried. You have judges that come in from, uh, three judges that come in, and they jury the work. How long have you been painting? I've been painting since 1989, professionally since 1990. I got a late start. You and certainly it did. I did. But and it shows. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it shows very nicely. Thank, Thank you. you so much. This is actually breathtaking to me. It just Thank seems you. like it jumps off the canvas. That's what I want it to do. That's, my signature is the rugs, the beadwork. That has been the greatest gift I have ever had, is being able to show people what I do and make it look real, want them to touch the pieces. You know, we were talking with Sharon, uh, I think, the beginning of the week. Mm -hmm. Um, and when you speak of Western artists or Western art, yes. you just naturally think of male artists. It's a tough business, isn't it? But you have broken into the field, you and Sharon alike. Yes. She took gold. She took gold. She was a gold medal winner. So there aren't as many... What has prohibited women from being popular in that genre? Thank you. This is one of the things that when I got into the business, someone said, don't put your name, Judith Durr. Don't use your name. You're a woman. And I was doing heavy Western work. I still do a lot of it. I have a publisher. We do a lot of heavy Western work. However, when it came to being a, an artist, a woman artist, with that genre, and that name, it is attributed to men. Mm -hmm. One of the things I love about Western Artists of America is the fact that they incorporate the women into this group. Mm -hmm. uh, some groups it's all women, some groups it's all men. This one has a wonderful, wonderful enveloping yeah. idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they are looking only for the masters, people mm -hmm. that will teach, people that will help other people. And that's our job. That's what we want to do. But to be considered a master in this business, I mean, isn't that impressive? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is the greatest thing is of that, all. Is that like the, uh, the World Championship of exactly. Art? Exactly. That's what this is. And it's invitational. To become a, 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 a member of the Western Artists of America, it's an invitation. You are not, you can, you can submit, but it's an invitation. So it's kind of, it's high powered. Did you cut your teeth, so to speak? On Western art or another type or another genre of When art. I started out doing pencils and that type of thing, it was Western. Uh, growing up in the Southwest, all of my work was paint what you know and know what you paint. Mm, mm. And that, you know, encompasses my life. My mom, Native American, my Western life. You know, you grew up in Arizona, and what are you? You're either a cowboy, an Indian. Or an implant. It kind of goes along. <laughs> the story here. Now, these are featured in the yes. painting. Yes. Is there a story? There must be a story. If there's not, make up one. Oh, no, no. <laughs> this, this belongs to one of my, my great friends, Dale Kono, and his wife, Millie Kono. They live in, in Buckeye. Mm -hmm. And I had been in their office, and this was one of, in part of his collection. It was the most fantastic thing, and it was one of the first things that caught my eye. And I, and I said, one of these days I'd like to, to buy that or, or I'd like to borrow it. Mm -hmm. He shows up one day at the house and he goes, Judith, here, I got something for you. Wow. And he brought these to me. And they look just, I mean, it's... Thank you. Uh, you, know, you have captured them just so realistically. It is, it is so beautiful to be able to do that. My mom's beadwork was the first inspiration for what I did. And that in, is incorporated into my, my work. Yeah, I love the, your quote, painting can be taught, however the gift of inspiration, dedication, and passion is within. Thank so, you. to Tanya's question earlier, this has been your passion, that's why you're doing it. It is, Lou. I, I can't remember a time when I didn't want to do this. Tanya, this is one of the things, this is one of the gifts, as, as a kid, when you say, I want to be an artist and an archaeologist and a teacher, that's, that was my goals. I get to do all of them. I get to do all of it. We spoke with your husband a couple days ago. Yes. He does the leather uh, artwork. Oh. Yes, and it's incredible. I, I'm still Thank trying you. to get over that. <laughs> that is amazing to me. Uh, is he your biggest uh, fan, your critic, critique, mm. all the above? He's my, helpmate. He's my best friend. He's the greatest critic 
If I need an eye, he's there for me. Does he me. tell you the truth? He tells he you tells the truth. He tells you the truth. Both of us are good very, for very you, good Roger. at it. He's, yes. he's, he's wonderful. You know what? Tanya tells me the truth <laughs> on this program. Doesn't do any good. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's wonderful to be able to be, be married to an artist because our life is encompassing. Uh, we yes. get up in the morning and we have our coffee, have our breakfast, and then we go to work. But it would be interesting, you're both artists. Yes. So is there a competitive nature at all? No, Roger, I was purchasing Roger's work when I met him. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I bought his work. I was intrigued with it when I first saw it. So you're encouragers of each other. Exactly. You work on large pieces. We're watching you work on a <laughs> large piece. That's the piece you're seeing behind me. Piece, That's yes. why I bought this piece. So you work on... Typically, do you work on large pieces? No. I oh, have, okay. I, have also, I, I typically work in all all sizes. Uh, small pieces, I get a lot of commission work, so it'll be anywhere from a 16 by 20 to a, a 24 by 30 to a 36 by 48. And uh, commission work? A lot of commission work. I, I have 16 commissions that I was doing. I'm down to 14. Wow. We're doing good. We're doing good. Fabulous. And it keeps me all year long. A, a piece like this, I mean, uh, how couple long? A couple of months. Cup what you're in the video that, that you watch, you can yeah. see that it's being it was started in March. Judith, your mother a Native American. My mom is Choctaw and Cherokee. What did you? Well, this is a very broad question. <laughs> uh, what did you learn from your mother? Very broad <laughs> question. Uh, what did you learn that has sustained you in the world of art? Never quit. Mm. My mom and dad both had a philosophy that can't was not in our vocabulary. And that was one of the most impressive things, perseverance. And when I started taking workshops, one of the first classes I ever took, Jim Daly offered perseverance. And who, who wrote that? Thoreau. Yes, I mean, yeah. how impressive is it that that is in your life from the beginning? All uh, successful people, I think, have that same philosophy. Yes. They should. It's a principle that's used, and the passion that comes behind that should be in anything that you do in life. I don't. I, if you're an artist, it's great. If you're not, good luck because it's passion. Well, that's what you're doing. Whatever. You're yes. Thank you. It's, you show. Thank it's you, been Judy. it's been my pleasure. Thank you for having me. When we come back, it's Homes for Heroes. They launch in the Quad City area. And at 11 a.m., stay tuned right here on AZTV because Patrick Dempsey is featured today. Of course, uh, you'll know him from Grey's Anatomy. He's so good stay. looking. So He's not my heartthrob. He's no Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Stay tuned for that at 11 a.m. right here on AZTV. Take it easy. Yeah. Good.